Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic probability. In the previous video, we solved a practical problem on probability. In this video, we are going to solve another practical problem. The question for this video is, in a contest, Ama, Kweku, and Musa were asked to solve a problem. The probabilities that they solve the problem correctly are 1 divided by 5, 2 divided by 3, and 2 divided by 5, respectively. Calculate the probability that I, all of them, solve the problem correctly. I, I, none of them solves the problem correctly. I, 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 at least one of them solves the problem correctly. I, V, only one of them solves the problem correctly. We are going to solve the first part in this video, then we will solve the others in the subsequent videos. As we've been doing all along, when you have been given a question of this nature, the first thing you need to do is to define the terms that you will be using in the solution. So we are going to let P into bracket A represent the probability that Amma solves the problem correctly. If P into bracket A is the probability that Amma solves the problem correctly, then P into bracket A complement is the probability that Amma does not solve the problem correctly or Amma solves the problem wrongly. In the same way, we will let P into bracket K represent the probability that Kweku solves the problem correctly. What this means is that P into bracket K complement is the probability that Kweku does not solve the problem correctly or Kweku solves the problem wrongly. We will let P into bracket M represent the probability that Musa solves the problem correctly and P into bracket M complement represents the probability that Musa solves the problem wrongly or Musa does not solve the problem correctly. From the question, we are told that the probability that Ama, Kweku and Musa solve the problem correctly are 1 divided by 5, 2 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 5 respectively. What this means is that the probability that AMA solves the problem correctly, which is represented by P into bracket A, is equal to 1 divided by 5. The probability that Kweku solves the problem correctly, which is represented by P into bracket K, is 2 divided by 3. And the probability that Musa solves the problem correctly, which is represented by P into bracket M, is equal to 2 divided by 5. We want to find the probability that AMA does not solve the problem correctly. That will give us probability of A complement or P into bracket A complement. And this is equal to 1 minus P into bracket A. We explained this in the previous example that we solved. This is going to give us 1 minus 1 divided by 5. And this will give us 4 divided by 5. So the probability that AMA solves the problem correctly is 1 divided by 5. And the probability that AMA does not solve the problem correctly is 4 divided by 5. In the same way, the probability that Kweku does not solve the problem correctly is equal to 1 minus the probability that Kweku solves the problem correctly. And this is equal to 1 minus 2 divided by 3, which will give us 1 divided by 3. The probability that Musa does not solve the problem correctly is equal to 1 minus the probability that Musa solves the problem correctly. And this will give us 1 minus 2 divided by 5, which is equal to 3 divided by 5. So now, the probability that Amma solves the problem correctly is equal to 1 divided by 5. The probability that Amma does not solve the problem correctly is 4 divided by 5. The probability that Kweku solves the problem correctly is 2 divided by 3. The probability that Kweku does not solve the problem correctly is 1 divided by 3. And finally, the probability that Musa solves the problem correctly is 2 divided by 5. And the probability that Musa does not solve the problem correctly 
is 3 divided by 5. The first part of the question says that we should find the probability that all of them solve the problem correctly. If all of them solve the problem correctly, what it means is that Amma solved the problem correctly, and Koyaku solved the problem correctly, and Musa solved the problem correctly, because we have been told that all of them solved the problem correctly. So the probability that all of them solved the problem correctly is equal to the probability that Amma solved the problem correctly, which is P into bracket A. And the probability that Koyaku solved the problem correctly, which is P into bracket K. And the probability that Musa solved the problem correctly, which is P into bracket M. We have learned that where we see and we are going to replace it with multiplication. P into bracket A is equal to 1 divided by 5. We have end here, so times P into bracket K is 2 divided by 3 times P into bracket M is 2 divided by 5. When we simplify this, we are going to have 4 divided by 75. So what this means is that the probability that all of them solve the problem correctly is 4 divided by 75. The second part of the question says that we should find the probability that none of them solve the problem correctly. We are going to do that in the next video. So we'll see you in the next video and let's continue solving the question. Bye-bye.